Well, welcome back, fellow YouTubers and toy and toy train buffs, to uh, kind of a long overdue video. Uh, I haven't uh, posted one of these uh, narrated videos for some time now. Uh, first of all, before before I get into all that, thank you to all my new subscribers. Hope you like the channel. I have uh, two layouts out here that I'm working on and a third layout which is laid kind of dormant. Uh, this one here that you see in front of you is what I'm calling the Milwaukee Northwestern. Then I've got my micro layout which is about 40 inches by 60 inches. That's called the uh, Edge of Town. And then I have a two rail Hornby windup uh, and it's UK or British themed and that's right behind me. And it's also, uh, it's not a pretty sight to see right now. <laughs> uh, so I'm not even going to show you that. But anyway, uh, I have been running trains. If, uh, if you've been watching the channel, you know I've been posting shorts and posting a few uh, short videos that uh, had no narration to them. And I haven't really been out here doing much. There, you know, I've had a gimpy right leg that uh, that bothered me like it's been bothering me since like November so just coming out here in the cold just uh, eh, I didn't feel like doing stuff however I did manage to put together the my Polar Express Christmas layout in the living room uh, in on days you know I did that on days where the leg wasn't uh, bothering me too much and so I was able to run trains and, and do things now uh, what have we got going here? Uh, we got a whole bunch of things going here as a Federa Uh Let's see here. I'm trying to... Uh, trying to get my thoughts straight. I'm sorry the camera's jiggling around. I'm trying to get my thoughts straight here. Uh, what have I done? Well, uh, just like the edge of town the micro layout, which I've been calling evolutionary, not revolutionary. The same thing is happening to this layout. And I've been swapping buildings around. I've been kind of doing things like that uh, as whim dictates. And here's what I've decided so far. Of course, from previous videos, you know I moved that theater which is a Walther's Theater, from there to there, and I'm satisfied with it being there. I got this Bob's Big Boy. Now, in Milwaukee, we didn't have... The Big Boy chain wasn't called uh, Bob's. It was called Mark's. And I got this little this little uh, thing by Funko, and I think that's really cool. I believe I'm going to end up putting it over there in that, that empty lot. All right. This space here will be for another one of these big K-line buildings that I still have to put together. I've got four of them, by the way, four different buildings, and I can uh, I can squeeze in another one in this location. This 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 is a cardboard building, building on fire, and it's from an MPC, multiple toy makers uh, or multiple plastics. It's goes by several names. Uh, it's one of their uh, fire and emergency play sets. The, uh, the fire trucks that go with it, I've shown them here on the layout in a previous video. They're quite large. They, they, really, they really do look awkward uh, when you put them in amongst uh, oh, 143rd or 150th. I mean, they're, they're quite large. So I'm not going to use the fire trucks from this play set. But this has been uh, this has been bumped around from here to here to there to there to here, and I think I'm going to keep it here. Why? Because it's a cool looking piece, and as you come to the layout, this makes a, a really nifty scene for for one to see as, as they're as they're looking at the layout instead of having it off to the side somewhere. Uh, I believe it's it's in a much better place right here. The figures, uh, I have been getting figures, I have been getting accessories and odds and ends for the layout. 
These figures are a combination of K-Line and Rail King. And I like them because, uh, well, you know, there's not a whole lot of old-scale firefighting uh, figures available. I've got uh, several more that really need bases, okay, because they just don't stand up on their own. And I have a, a nice Artista figure, uh, which also needs a base. So, you know, there you have it. I'm doing stuff very slowly. Like I said, evolutionary, not revolutionary. I have gotten in things. I haven't been working on a layout so much, except for that, and, you know, moving buildings. But I have gotten, gotten in some cool things. One of them, you've seen this engine before on my on uh, YouTube shorts. Hudson, uh, 464 Hudson, Lionel, uh, Lion Chief Plus, you know, all the, uh, there's the uh, remote for it. I've been running the heck out of this engine. I uh, haven't posted a, a whole lot of videos, but I'll come out here and I'll play with this thing and I'm I'm really I'm really reluctant to put it away. I'm having fun with it. Okay, I've gotten a couple more MPC era cars, the Hams beer. Then I've got uh, as a fatter of Mac, I just took this out of the box like ten minutes ago. Good and plenty. Got it for a good price. Uh, they're going for around twenty five, thirty, ish, as as a. Uh, as an average, I got it for 15. Yay! Then, this cool Milwaukee Road boxcar. My understanding is that this scheme, which is called the Big M, was never actually used by the Milwaukee Road. Apparently, they planned to use it, perhaps a prototype painted up, uh, but it never was put into use. So that that puts us in the realm of fantasy scheme, which is fine, but it's addition in addition to the uh, uh, Milwaukee Road Fleet and things connected to Milwaukee. Then, you know, somewhere out here, I've got pre-war. Uh, you think I can find them? Yeah, I know they're out here. I just. Like I said, my, my right leg has been gimpy, and I just don't want to be bending and walking around trying to find stuff in boxes. I came across this uh, torpedo. You know, I'll tell you what, let's, uh, let me do this. Let me... We'll get this train cleared out so we could take a better look at the pre-war. I bought this complete as a set off of Flea Bay with the, uh, what is that engine again? I'm so bad at names. No, okay, I'm going to put the camera down so I can look at this, this engine. What was it? Oh, the 1668E. <laughs> it's Tessa right there, 1668E. All right. Uh, torpedo, Penzi K4 style torpedo engine, pre-war, with the auto box couplers. It, the tender is a whistle tender, doesn't work. Okay. I can always stand here and go, woo woo! Good enough. Uh, shell tank car, gondola, <laughs> and caboose. Like I said, I've got pre-war out here. I haven't run pre-war on any of my layouts in over 20 years. And I, guys, 
I wanted something right now without hassle to take out of the box, put on the track, and run. And that's what I did. I didn't have to pay a whole lot for this, so that makes me happy as well. So I'm going to be hopefully running more pre-war in the coming months, as well as uh, I've got a couple other things planned, like uh, running my Hiawathas. That, that, that was another project I started last year and got sidetracked on. So leave us do this. Leave us run trains. It takes a while for the smoke to start billowing up, but when it does, it's a great smoker. For those of you who are familiar with the YouTube channel, uh, Nick's Crossing, Nick, every Monday, has a live stream. Monday, sometimes Tuesday, whatever his work schedule uh, allows him. And they talk a lot on there about JT's Mega Steam uh, smoke fluid. Now I've had this bottle for, for quite a while. I've been using this bottle pretty much all most of last year. And it's almost empty. This says Forest and Stream. I'm here to tell you guys. That thing don't smell like any forest or stream I've ever been in or around. So I'm out here, and I'm sniffing this stuff, and I'm going, what does it smell like? What does it actually smell like? And I finally figured it out. It smells like perfume. Yeah, I'm serious. I mean, you know, that's what it smells like. Now, that being said, I've got some original cedar, which I'll have to start on. I've got some Christmas pine. And some cut grass. All right. I didn't want to buy a whole lot of this stuff. And I don't need a whole shelf full of it, but...
Okay, let's bring them on home. Wow. I don't know if you could tell on the video, but if that thing smoked anymore, I'd, I'd need to give myself a respirator. Awesome! <laughs> Alright. Ta-da! And there you have it for another running session and uh, another sort of progress update for this uh, <laughs> progress, slow leak in progress uh, update, which is okay, you know. Uh, I'm not going to rush myself. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, and I'm, I am happier in a pig and slop getting back into pre-warts, what I started buying when I switched from HO scale to 3-rail O-gauge. Uh, is was tin plate and uh, pre-war and stuff like that and then somewhere along the line I lost sight of that and stopped running my uh, pre-war Lionel uh, you'll notice on uh, if you go back through my channel and a couple hundred videos that uh, I did a lot of marks I was into marks for many years but I am happy to get back into uh, Lionel pre-war lots of fun and of course that engine over there wow Awesome. Love it. <laughs> Give me more. Anyway, uh, <laughs> thank you again to all the new subscribers. Hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, tschüss, adieu, auf Wiedersehen. Bye, y'all.